How are we doing, guys? Moose here. This is episode 7, season 2 of our West Ham crew. As you can see, we have an action-packed episode for you here. We have games against Liverpool, Manchester City, Manchester United, as well as our first two uh, international friendlies for Team USA. We're going to be simming those because uh, the gameplay in these uh, BPL games is just going to be fantastic. As you can see, we're going to get into this right away. Liverpool, West Ham. Uh, we got one of uh, one, uh, really uh, one of our best squads that we can put out there. Uh, Benzi is still out with an injury, but we have Maiga on the bench, Veste and Lacazette up front, and uh, really just our best squad that we can put out there to take on Liverpool at Anfield. It's going to be a great matchup. You see Jarvis here. We'll get it underway. With Jarvis just pushing down the wing, but a great cross into Veste. Oh, he just heads it wide. What a chance for Ricardo Veste. As you can see, the ball here gets into Noble Veste. Releases Lacazette with a wonderful through ball. What a chance, Lacazette just pushing forward past the D, and he just pushes a left-footed strike wide. Unbelievable chances for West Ham here at Anfield to start the game off. And as you can see, Liverpool coming back. Downing puts a header into Suarez. Oh, what the stop by Jack Butlin. Absolutely fantastic stop. And as you can see, we just keep the pressure up. Jarvis gets a throw in over to Mark Noble, and he pushes a shot just to the wrong side of the post. And as you can see, Vazte gets a little bit of a knock on his ankle. He's going to come out for Maiga. But um, we get into the 45th man here. Liverpool really, oh, just releases Allen with an incredible through ball. He's got all day to come in, and he slides it under Butlin going the wrong way. But we're unable. They're unable to score, luckily for us. Uh, we continue in stoppage time, just moving the ball up. Jarvis on the outside. He's just kind of marauding his way through the defense, and he hammers a shot that Pepe Reina stops and sends us into halftime, nil-nil. Uh, moving forward here into the 52nd man, the ball just kind of bouncing through, ends up on the foot of Maiga. He turns Jose Enrique fantastically, ends up coming through, throws a through ball in, and look at the diving header from Lacazette. 1-0 to West Ham. West Ham taking the lead in the 52nd man. What a goal from Lacazette, who has just been stellar for us uh, since coming over in his transfer from Olympic Lyon. And that's just a fantastic goal to push the visitors West Ham ahead. But right here, Butlin makes the first save. And look at that. Henderson is able to just cheekily flip the ball over the top of the Brian's unable to get his foot in. And Liverpool equalizes in the 66th minute. Just so, you know, unfortunate that we weren't able to stop them there. But Liverpool keeps countering here. And Butlin with a great save on Downing. Uh, on the one-touch volley. As you can see, Jarvis here. Jarvis was just a force for us coming down the left wing. Puts a ball in for Maiga. What a chance that he forces over the top. And we end up going 1-1 full-time with Liverpool. But Jarvis, really, I think he deserved a spectacular performance from him. Uh, Tompkins with a man of the match performance in 8.1 in the back line. But a great performance. And you see, Liverpool did have a few more chances than us uh, in terms of shot on target. We led in possession just a little bit, but a great game overall. And we're going to get right in here with uh, the game against Manchester City. As you can see, uh, we have Jim Bear in there, or uh, young Cam really going to be tested here against Manchester City. Going to be a fantastic match. I think, uh, you know, really we're testing ourselves here in the early going to see if we're going to be one of those top sides uh, in the Premier League. And we'll get right underway. Look at Manchester City in the second minute already pressing. Fed the ball through to Balotelli. What a block from Jalet. Another chance from Balotelli. And it is stopped well by Butler who gets down and holds on to it. And you see the first few minutes Manchester City is just all over us. They're certainly out for this game. Just moving the ball on beautifully. Look at Balotelli. Gets Tompkins going the wrong way. Gets around Vorsan. Just an unbelievable shot. Top right corner. Just a beautiful goal in the sixth minute. He just dances around two of our defenders to put Manchester City in front 1-0. And so we're certainly going to be fighting from behind to start this off. But, you know, we're pretty happy with how we look. Look at Jim Bear turn company fantastically. And Joe Hart does well to stop that one. Jim Bear, the youngster, really getting getting his game time in, making some plays here. And we see Vaste puts a through ball in for Lacazette. Lacazette using his speed. Look at the fake shot around company. Unleashes one Joe Hart with just a stupendous save to reach out and knock that away. So 1-0, we go into halftime. Uh, Manchester City leading us 1-0. It's certainly not a disappointing half. Obviously, the goal that our defenders would like to have done well. But, you know, we've been playing well. Had some chances. Joe Hart made some great stops. And look at Lacazette with the little dummy. Ends up getting around the defender. Slides it across the Vazte. Unable to score off the post, but it falls right back to Lacazette, who bashes it in past Joe Hart, who's flopping all around the the box in there. Just a wonderful goal from Lacazette. Great little pace to get in all alone. Tried to, be, you know, kind of slide it over to Vasse, but it wasn't a very good pass. He just was lucky to put it on goal, and it went right back to Lacazette, who was able to finish it and equalize it for us. 
which is fantastic. 1-1 one, one with City. We're certainly happy with how that result's coming out right now. Another chance, though. Lacazette getting another ball over the top from Vazte. Fantastic work. Lacazette just uses his pace, uses his pace, cuts it back inside, takes a left-footed shot, and Joe Hart again with a nearly identical save to the one he made in the first half on Lacazette. And look at Manchester City coming back in the 76 minute, moving the ball around wonderfully. Tough turnover for Tompkins there, and Tevez pushes it just to the left. We're going to be certainly happy we get away with that. And Balotelli with a circus bicycle kick puts it off the crossbar, so we're certainly getting away with one here, trying to hold on for the point. 89th minute, 90th minute, we're taking our chance here. Diami threads it into Maiga. He makes a beautiful move around Yaya Torre, strikes it for goal. What a stop, and Lacazette beats him to the ball. After Joe Hart makes a save, Lacazette just turning it to the outside, turning it to the outside, just trying to find a lane. Ends up dancing around Zabaleta. Zabaleta's able to keep, and the shot's blocked. Suzuka that tracks it down. Over to Diami. We're just all over City trying to find the winner. Diami moves inside, makes a chance, and his shot. Oh, Joe Hart is able to hold on. And we're going to head into that with a draw, picking up another point. So certainly, these points are hard to come by against Manchester City teams like Liverpool, Manchester City. So we're happy with two draws here so far. Unfortunately, we would love to have picked up a win there if we could have come around with it. As you can see, six shots on target, 15 shots. City dominated the possession a little bit, but we were able to find some great chances. And as you can see, we're going to head now into our first uh, international friendlies with Team USA. We're heading into this match versus Hungary. And you see, it's a little bit of a weaker side. Dempsey not starting. Guzan and goal instead of Tim Howard. And Breck Shands up getting our only goal. It's 1 1. But we're looking to get some guys into the side, see if they can, uh, you know, make some impressions on the team. As you can see, we've gotten Sebastian Legette back uh, from loan, which will be interesting um, to see if he can work into the side. Maybe uh, give Jim Bear a little break. Even think about Jim Bear getting. Uh, Alone, I'm not sure. I don't think we're going to do that, but Legette's just nice to have a little bit of cover there in case of injury and um, things like that. And you see, another note um, from the London press is how Vorce has been a little disappointing. He's had some, some, some slack runs of form lately, but I think he's definitely one of our top defenders, and we're not going to get on too hard. Obviously, we want him to step his game up, but we're not looking to... Um, we're just looking to improve. You know, our strength, our back line, we've been playing well. Only a goal each to City and Liverpool. And as you can see, Team USA in this match is running away with it. Two goals, two more goals from Breck Shea. A goal from Landon Donovan. As well as uh, Johnson on the back line picking up a goal. So a 4-0 just drubbing uh, that Team USA shows that, you know, maybe we're a force to be reckoned with coming up uh, with the World Championships coming up. Uh, the World Cup, but the World Championship is referred to in the game coming up. But as you can see, back to West Ham, our focus here. It's all about West Ham, the Hammers. And uh, we have Manchester United here at Old Trafford, which we actually won 3-2 at Old Trafford last season. So maybe it's a little house of horrors um, for United against West Ham. As you can see, it's just unbelievable through ball to Mark Noble. What a chance here that's stopped by Lindegaard. Noble was all alone, just unable to finish that one-on-one. -on -one. But here, a great chance on the cross from Jale to Winston Reed, and he heads it just wide. We're certainly getting the better of the chances here in the early going. A nice little ball to Lacazette. He's just moving around, moving around, makes a wonderful play to turn Smalling, and he just hammers it past Lindor. An unbelievable effort from Lacazette. Turns Smalling entirely around and is able to just bash one pass a stunned Lindegaard. What a, just an incredible move. Look at the move there to turn Smalling around and then just gets inside the box and hammers a goal past Lindegaard with just an absolute rocket shot. But as you can see, Manchester United counting over the corner. Going to be whipped in. We're unable to clear it really. And Nani just hammers a shot just wide of goal. Butlin was down there, but, you know, we're lucky to be going. That went wide. A nice little ball here. Knocked into Noble. Mark Noble with the ball. A little ball over the top to Maiga. Maiga takes a chance and he is brought down. Where is the foul call on that referee? Certainly should have been a foul as Maiga is drawn down right outside the box, but Manchester United is able to come back on the attack afterwards, and Kagawa certainly didn't get enough of that as he wanted to. Pushes it wide of the goal, and we head into halftime with a 1-0 lead over Manchester United Old Trafford. They're certainly not going to be happy with that. And you see Jarvis putting a ball over the top here. Collison tries to volley. Oh, nearly Collison with the volley with a great chance there. But we'll get it back in with Noble. Noble pushing it ahead to Lacazette. Just makes a wonderful little move around Vidic. What a chance for Lacazette. What a chance. And he slides it with the outside of his right foot underneath. 2-0 to West Ham. Taking the lead. Look at the hammers stunning the Red Devils here at Old Trafford. Lacazette certainly pulling his share of the weight. What a move getting around Nemanja Vidic. 
and just sliding it under an outstretched Lindegard with the outside of his boot. Unbelievable. And look at Lock, I said here with another chance as he just uses pace to get around Smalling on the ball over the top. And he slides it just wide of goal. Some fantastic chances for the Hammers. Lacazette really brought his A game today. And look at this, a chance for Van Persie on his left foot and he chips it over Butlin. And somehow you don't expect Robin Van Persie to miss on a chance like that. Controlled it, got it right to his left foot and puts it centimeters, inches outside of the post. Uh, Van Persie unable to finish here. United using the ball over the top again with another chance. Up to Valencia, look at him win the battle here. Oh, but a wonderful piece of defense for Tompkins to knock it out. But cleverly is able to pick up the middle box. He's going to have a go with his left foot. And Butlin does well to hold on to that and not give up the rebound. 89th minute now. We're trying to hold on 2 no. Van Persie whips across him. It's blocked away, but Kagawa is able to get on top of it. He knocks it back out to Van Persie. He's going to cross it in towards Rooney. Unable to get, but Kagawa with another chance. And Butlin, with, he must have glue on his gloves today. A fantastic sum, and look at that. 2-0 West Ham over United, picking up five points from three games in this episode. Liverpool, Manchester City, Manchester United, not a single loss among them. Just a stunning game, really. As you see, United struggled. No one really with a great game. Lacazette with a 7.7, .7, a fantastic performance. You know, United had some shots and weren't able to put it on target, and we just tried to hold the ball away from them as much as we could. But... We're going to close this episode out. Look at the table. Look at us climbing up into eighth. Two losses from nine games. Three wins. Four draws. Only conceded seven goals on the season, which is fantastic. You see Spurs have only conceded three in nine games. It's just unbelievable. So their three losses had to have been one now. But fantastic game for us. Uh, and we will look to continue our form in the next episode. And we will catch you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.